Why do some workers want to go back to the office? Not talking about investors or execs wanting to justify their real estate costs or exert their overbearing control on their employees. I'm wondering why actual workers want to go back to the office. I really and truly don't understand. I've been working remotely for close to three years now, and it has been an exclusively positive experience. I have yet to find a single downside. My mental health is so much better because of all the time it saves me. But a lot of people seem to have different experiences. Why? What are the positives of the office and downsides of remote work that I'm not seeing? I know a few people with horrible home lives. Work is their break. Some people don't like the isolation of staying at home and like being around people. Especially if they're friends with their colleagues. Personally, I would love to work at home. Some do. Some don't. The solution is choice. Let the worker decide. Edit. Why is a personal thing for the individuals? Edit 2. I have been remote for over 10 years and am very happy staying that way. Trying to escape their families. I simply cannot motivate myself to work when I am at home. Like home is my place to not work so yeah. I kinda need an office. Everyone should have the choice though. I dislike combining my job with my home. I like to keep them separate. Working from home has advantages that are hard to pass like avoiding commuting to and from and. Avoid the whole office drama if it exists. But on days you don't feel like working. Then being home makes it unnecessarily harsh. I like to have the option. I don't have space for an in-house office and I have three kids. I like working from home when I want to but being able to go into the office if I have a busy day and really need to get things done or if the kids have been too annoying and I need to get away from them. I live in a small house. Wife is WFH. So there's no comfortable space for me. There are very few people in the office so I get a lot of quiet and privacy. Also, it's easier to separate work life from home life. I'm too lazy to work from home. I prefer the structure being in office has. As introverted as I am, I don't want to be home 24-7. I also want my home to be a work-free sanctuary and enjoy socializing with my colleagues. I do not want to go back full time. But one or two days a week for me is actually therapeutic. I do the same job. And is a just short drive. And I see people. Get to interact with them. Not even necessarily business related. Just having real human contact with an adult. And with how my house is laid out. I don't have a quiet separate place to work from home. I work in the family room. Which is really only an office at this point. But completely open to the kitchen and dining room. And there are a lot of distractions. At work I work. At home I home. I rarely get to home at work. I don't like to work at home. There are exceptions. And I was very effective when I worked from home. I just don't prefer work from home. Not me personally. But some people miss the social interaction and face-to-face -face communication. I wonder if it's important that everyone who has expressed that to me is in their 40s or older. I like it because it's easier for me to focus. When I WFH I feel distracted by things I want to do at my house, property. It should be a choice. Some people do great in the office. Some do great at home. Let them decide and work in an environment that best suits them. My sister wants to go back to the office. She's on the accounting team at a large tech firm. Not mama, but over 10k employees. She lives alone so misses the interaction. The office was a beautifully designed space with lots of work areas to suit different moods. 
and the company provided free healthy meals and drinks for employees so she barely had to do any cooking or grocery shopping on her own. I'm a college student one week away from graduating from undergrad. I've had three internships, two of them fully remote. Not having experience working with actual full-time employees severely stunted my professional growth. My most recent internship I worked hybridly and chose to come into the office almost every single day because the amount I was learning was exponentially greater by just being able to speak to a co-worker on the fly, instead of having to schedule a meeting a few days out or make a disruptive Skype call. It's a quiet space with co-workers I enjoy. More social than being at home. I actually enjoy my commute reasonably well because I listen to podcasts. Man shrugging working from home has benefits too obviously. But I like both for different reasons. Collaboration is the biggest I've got an incredible team. And the dynamics for learning and developing new technologies just aren't there remotely. I think for those of us who are senior it's a minor hit. But new people learn a lot from daily interaction. We do a hybrid scheme that works great. I generally remote 12 days which lets me focus on just me stuff. And the other 23 days I'll be in office and focus on collaborative projects. My sense of a safe and comfortable home has been impacted by working from home. I now associate it somewhat with work and find it harder to feel like I'm off the job. It feels more like I could still be at work but I'm break. I also get a little stir-crazy being at the same place all day. So I have to make more of an effort to find reasons to leave the house and get a change of scenery. This is less of a problem when the weather is nice but during winter I both don't want to go out into the cold wet world and desperately need real human contact and a change of pace. All that being said, the good outweighs the bad when it comes to remote work. But I could see that the type of person that is very social but doesn't have a large social scene outside of work could miss the office. They should expand their social options with new hobbies. Remember we are all individuals and thus we have different ways to comfort ourselves. With that in mind the list is as follows. People prefer a place to work rather than having to invade their own home. Sometimes family or whoever they live with won't be supportive or understandable and will disturb their work. Other times people will make their life mission to disrupt their work. There are some households where pets won't be supportive and will try to get any attention from the worker. Some people will not want to live more than necessary with whoever they live with. Some people will start asking favors just because you're at home. Other people will become rude to you because, working from home, is not a real job. You're lying. Some people will turn off the electricity just because they want to make a joke. Others will do it because they want to disturb you or because they don't think you're working. People want to focus on work and can't at home because they have no personal space, room to be left alone. People want to socialize with whoever other colleagues are in the office. People still care about being seen instead of being recognized for their job. People still think things will get done faster if they're side by side with their peers until the activity or issue is resolved. People like the commute. This varies again for each individual. I like the commute because I use my bike but I can do it regardless of going to work. There's some people who like it because they see familiar and new faces in their commute. And other plethora of reasons I can't think about. And the most can go on. So TLDR. People who want to go back is because they may want to have a quiet, focused place to work where they don't have to deal with whatever they have at home. Or maybe they want to socialize either in the office or their commute. Or just they want to leave home and feel free during the time they're out of home. Maybe they want to add something to their daily routine because being at home sometimes makes you feel a month being a day. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.